Hey, welcome back. We're about to do our third right. From out of nowhere charges in a gangly cur. He stops short and gives you a mighty sneer. Hey, that's Barker Ashpaws. Real piece of work, just don't make eye contact. The trouble making cur thrills in the defeat. Oh, what would you look at this lot? Even got one of our own consorting with the two leggers. You're a disgrace here, mate, you realize? Uh, good to see you, Barker. You're looking well. Didn't know you knew about the rights. Oh, I know about a right of things, my friend. For instance, I know you're going to be very, very sad after we wipe the floor with you here. Eh? Don't know who's back. You scratched there and yourself on the high and mighty night wings there, but I'm going to make sure all of you regret it. Because, uh, why not? Oh, so, sounds good. Sounds good. The cur Barker laughs away as his pack stumbles after him. You hear them howling and cackling as the stars above begin to glow. <laughs> awesome. Oh man, and now we get more shit talked to us by this whatever fucking deific figure this is. Oh man, I'm, I'm kind of hype actually. It's the, the first time we've seen some guys with some real fucking spunk. And this music is dope. Welcome, dear reader, to the splendors of the accursed cairn of Ha'ul. Yeah, that's pretty nice. You shall find the downside grows less pleasant from this point. Wait, less pleasant? First, there's a tradition to uphold. Less pleasant? This time you stand against the dissidents. Even now they hunger to defeat you. All right, let's fucking roll. Perhaps not simply to regain their freedom, but to deny you yours. So what you're saying is they're kind of dicks. As the stars shine down upon you, the pack of curs you stand against this night continue hooting and howling. Oh, come on, you lot! Let's boil some blood! Then Ruki pulls you aside. Um, look, sister, I don't know how to say this, but I can't go against these guys. Just trust me on this one, okay? You sense he means it. You make a mental note to ask about his history with Barker whenever time permits. It's alright, Ruki. We can take care of him. Begging your pardon, but if you need another to stand at your side this night, I have someone here whom I would recommend. Do not be coy with, coy with us, minstrel. Don the robes if you intend to stand with us. Oh, I did not mean myself. The rights are not for me. I was instead referring to this little one. Oh shit! Creature wearing tiny raiments appears at the lone minstrel's side. Scree! Oh my god, Tizo's gonna... Whoop on these guys. Absurd. The imp knows the rights. He knows a great deal. So long as the Nightwings stand together, he shall be at their side. Though you need not take my word for it. Tizo, our adversaries seem to be preoccupied. Perhaps you might quickly show our comrades what you can do. The little imp peers at you. You sense his connection to the rights as he awaits your guidance. <laughs> He's going to do some tricks. Reader, influencing Tizo may take some getting used to. He is inviting you to try. Oh, we can fly. That's dope. Dash, dash, dash. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh. Okay, so he kind of like self banishes. Okay, he's cool, but I don't think I actually want to. I don't think we actually want to roll with him. Well done as ever, Tizo. Scrock! He's happy to lend his support during the rites, if you could use his help. Well then, reader, who shall conduct the rites in the names of the Night Wings? Okay, 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 okay. I think we want. I think I think we just want this squad. We want our standard squad. Get our headwind. Joe Dariel and our striker Fay. It is done. Our adversaries shall be quick. Be ready. Time's up. You s wait. What the fuck was that voice? Oh, time's up. You swill. Come on, boys. Let's get him. Alright. Ooh! The hype level's like there now. Oh, 
Boom! Got him! Slam dunk, bitch! What's up? Damn. I missed the input there, actually, is what happened. No. Boom. Oh, is our is our announcer actually getting into it now? Boom. Ran it in. Probably shouldn't have done it with the run-in. Probably should have stopped the throw, but whatever. Oh, get wrecked. Flung with considerable precision. I mean, who, did the who the fuck do you think I am? All oh, right, you lot, that does it. No more fussing around, right? My boys and me, we're proper angry now. Get him. Oh, shit. Oh, holy fuck. What is going on? They're proper angry now. Your adversary Barker there seems rather fired up. Whatever shall you do against so fierce a foe? Just run it in, baby. That's what we do. We just run it in. Alright, I think it's time to apply some ass beatings. Oh shit! I dropped my uh my aura trying to hit him and uh, he got through. Yeah. Nope. Yeehaw baby Yeah, get wrecked. Faye for the win. The night wings prevail yet again. Damn right we do. Accomplished effortlessly, I might add. You know what? I like this attitude much better from you, voice man. The right is ended. Damn right it is. Ah, that ought to show him. Perhaps now they shall learn some humility. Oh, well, well. I'll be a heaping ball of dung, but I can't believe you shoddy lot just showed us the what for like that. Oh, my boys and all, I'll have to take you just a tad more serious next time. <laughs> Till then, you be sure to tell old Rookie Greentail that yours truly he remembers everything, yeah, yeah? The rights do tend to teach something yeah. of trust. The level three when for her. Right and level two, inspiration or enlightenment. The scribes, they whisper to me they do from time to time. Okay, we can get extra deafness and trickery or extra aggression and persistence. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Oh, that's, yeah, I mean, getting rid of the, that's insane. I can't not use that. There's just no way. All right, cool. Until the stars align. Splendid was your guidance of the night wings, reader. Your fellows are fortunate to have fun, found one since as you. May you find the freedom that you seek. Hmm. Oh, mysterious. Uh, instantly banish W to evade auras. Okay, we already knew that. It's just jumping. Easy stuff. All right, we won. After defeating the dissidents in a rather one-sided contest, you return to the wagon to recover from the night's ordeal and figure out how best to proceed. You all right, Rookie? I think so, Chum. I just needed a little time. Didn't count on Barker being caught up in all this. You don't owe him your conscience. You'll sort things out with him, you always do. Hmm. I do not wish to interrupt, but the dark of night is waning. Reader, would you join us outside, please? You find Jadariel and the lone minstrel gazing into the sky above the valley, which is beginning to grow pale. Seek now your destination. Um, so that's where we already are. So I think we need to... Is this it? The Bog Star. Oh, the hills have ice. Oh, shit. Guess that's where we're going. 
Then it is as, our, as I feared. We are to press for, further north, beneath the valley, into flagging hands. The scribes are watching over us. They will protect us wherever we should go. Had you been to flagging hands, you would not say such things. The scribes have surely turned their backs on that place. If I may, the bleakness of flagging hands shall wear upon you, to be sure. I urge for you to take what rest you can, for you shall need your strength upon the road ahead. Your fellow exiles agree to turn in for the remainder of the night. At dawn, you shall have to press deeper into the downside. Oh yeah, hangouts. Oh, Rookie, we should hang. You can tell something is troubling Rookie, though he seems relieved to see you. Hey, uh, sister, listen, I gotta level with you real quick. You remember Barker, don't you? Not exactly easy to forget, though. Believe you me, I try. Well, he's got me by the scruff. Been down here a little while, as you can see by now, but Barker, he's been down here longer. He's made quite the name down here. As for me, I, I, I needed help, you understand. I had a certain standard to uphold. So I figured he would be the one to ask. Then Rookie hesitates. But then his familiar grin returns. So what if I owe him though, right sister? I got people back on the other side and just between us, we're loaded, I mean rich. My little problem with Barker, soon it's gonna take care of itself just as soon as my people send the money through. So I am telling you right here and now, don't you even worry about it and I'm sure everything on that front's gonna end up real tidy real soon. With that, he scampers off before you can respond. Seems Ruki owes a debt of some sort. What's on the line, exactly, you're unsure. Nothing new in the book. Alright. Guess we move on. Onwards! We ride! Come dawn, you find Hedwin and Jodariel assessing the current situation with the minstrel. Are you most certain? Aye, madam. I make no claim the journey shall be pleasant, but it is necessary. Hedwin motions to you as they continue talking. Seems we'll have some work to do once we arrive in flagging hands. Let's get going as soon as you're ready. Sooner we get there, sooner we can leave. Technically that's true, yes. Alright, on to flagging hands. Oh, there's a lot of colors. Did we crash, or was it just a sudden stop? Anything in here? Nope. Wait, what? No, I think there was. Hold on. Aha! Nope. It just—it was, it was glimmering, but not because there's anything interesting. The flagging hands region proves as dismal as Jadariel indicated. The air is thick and foul. How far to the pit of Milithi? That a den in which Milithi sealed the physical form of Yislok Astralborn. All the way across the Mars lands on the coast. Reader, would you join me in the wagon for a moment? We have matters to discuss. Did Ariel and Hedwin exchange looks, then she turns to you. Go see what he wants. Oh. Thank you for your time, Reader. I have something for you on behalf of my client. Before you is an artifact called the Beyonder Crystal. Ooh. Did the reader manage in your eyes present the crystal only then? Huh. You observe a shimmering crystal of some sort beside the, crystal, the Book of Rites. As you have surmised, the triumvirates you are to confront during the rites shall stop at nothing to prevail against you. They have prepared for this for quite some time. The Beyonder Crystal may help ensure that you are well prepared in turn. It is a resource now at your disposal, to be used at your discretion. Gaze upon it, and you shall see what I mean. Alright, prediction. I think this is a classic Super Giants game style. Hit these buttons to make the game harder. Right? Right? What do you guys think? Am I right? Bet I'm right. You look upon the shimmering surface of the Beyonder Crystal. Some of your senses fail, though you retain a hold over your consciousness. An apparition appears before you, clad in the remnants of the rites, but incorporeal. I sense that you are not a total idiot. She reaches for the clasp on her mask. Oh, that voice is totally inappropriate. So, the night wings have returned. Oh, but where are my manners? You must be their lovely reader. Please, call me Sandra. <laughs> what 
we met briefly before when you first beheld the book. When you were stuck inside of it, I was among the phantoms your companions banished there, no doubt stroking their egos. You listened well enough to that damn voice. Now I suggest you listen well to me. I am bound in servitude to you, along with any idiots whose freedoms happen to be intertwined with yours. I know the rights better than anyone. I can, I soon can whip you into shape if you but take advantage of my services. First, I offer scribe trials to those friends of yours. If they can pass, it'll be worth their while and yours. Second, my Beyonders and I avail ourselves for practice rights, should you be so inclined. Finish for eternity, whatever they did. Or you could always come and chat and briefly free me from an eternity of boredom. Hmm? Jeez. Hey, what's on your mind? I do appreciate the effort to make small talk with me, reader. Anything to break from the monotony of staring at the void within this place. Not that I could see it if I tried. <laughs> she laughs at this, or maybe herself. Certainly, I could make talk with my fellow Beyonders, trapped here as they are with me. You might expect that we all would keep each other company. There's just one problem there, however. We're all sick of one another. She laughs again, perhaps not at her joke, but instead of her predicament. I do exaggerate to some extent, but there's a certain truth in this. We have been stuck together long enough that we've grown more distant rather than more close. But I had best not wear out my welcome with the likes of you, as I have long since done with the others here. So carry on for now, and if those fools with whom you travel learn something, come bring them forth to me, and I shall see to it they learn some more. Huh. Well, we're going to try out one of these scribe trials on the next episode. See you guys. Thanks for joining us.